So this is episode two of the raised shelter, which is, well, as you can see, just over there. And I decided to bring a bit of chicken with me today because, you know, nothing worse than being in the woods when you're hungry. So I thought I'd bring a nice bit of tasty chicken and you can hear it's nice and crispy. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and I'll get back to you. I'll talk to you about the progress and I'll talk to you about what I'm aiming to do later on today or possibly tomorrow with the shelter. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, this chicken is beautifully cooked and it goes so well with the spicy mayo. Mm. <laughs> so about an hour ago after i kind of put half of this frame together i realized it was really really unstable doing that it would just wobble so i realized it needed some diagonal bits in order to stop it from wobbling and these diagonal bits that i've used they've actually come from well the Viking house. Many people that have been subscribed for about three or four years might remember the Viking house. Well recently I took it down and I've decided to reuse a lot of materials and that's where these bits of wood, these materials have come from. They've come from the Viking house. There's a few nails that we used back in the day and as you saw earlier I just hammered and I pulled the nail out, um, straightened it up and again I'm just reusing materials so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hoping it's going to be super strong, strong enough for me and hopefully Amber to lie in it and go to sleep and wake up still off the ground and not collapsed on the ground. But you can see now, look how solid that is now. Compared to before, it would really wobble a lot. What I also plan on doing is building the bed. And if you're wondering how I'm going to build the bed, well, I'm going to get bits of wood. Have a look. So these are just a few of the materials left over. In fact, there's a huge pile of wood that I can still take from and use it to construct this. And this is just some of the wood that's left over. <laughs> this is some of the wood that's left over from the Viking house. There is a big pile, there's plenty more wood, plenty more materials. But what I wanna demonstrate is, I wanna get bits of wood roughly this sort of thickness. And then I'm gonna slide these over the top and just build up this layer, this bed. This is gonna be my bed. Well, that is the plan. I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow and continue this build. Um, I've kind of wasted a few hours today messing about, you know, problem solving. But don't worry, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. In fact, I'll be back tomorrow here in the woods, but I'll be back next week with an update on this build. And also as for the roof, well, I've got this piece of wood. I've just put this up. Uh, this is gonna go just like it was a second ago. Going up the top. I'll drop that down to about there. I'm gonna secure that. I'll see if I can find a few more rusty nails and I'll just straighten them out. Secure that. And then I'm gonna get some more wood. And I'm gonna put, I put one, in fact, I think I'm gonna do two. So I'll put one there and roughly one there. Now, in order to cover the roof, 
Again, I'm reusing materials and I'm gonna use something that I've lent up against that. And this is what I'm talking about. This is bark. I'm reusing this bark. This came from the shelter that I took down in the last episode. And I'm gonna layer this over the roof. And that's hopefully gonna keep it nice and watertight. I've got lots of bark, I can put lots of layers on. But I'm pretty sure this is gonna work really well. If you have any suggestions or improvements or things you want to see me do or build around the camp, preferably something like furniture. Should I build a ladder going up to it so Amber, my dog, can get into it? Um, should I leave an overhang on the front there so I can have a bit of bark going down each side so that the rain can't really get in? On the back wall, I'm thinking about putting bits of wood, closing it all off, so the only thing open will be the entrance. What do you want to see me do here to that shelter? Any improvements? I don't work in construction. I kind of do experimental archeology, span as in, I don't really have a clue. I'm just giving it a try. And that's what I do with a lot of these shelters and they kind of work. So yeah, any improvements, let me know right now in the comments section below. So I've had the chicken, which was really good. I did give Amber a bit because I think she deserved it. And then I decided to put some prawns in. Ooh, these are so hot, so garlicky, buttery. See, I've got some tin foil. I put the prawns in the tin foil. I put a little bit of butter and then I got a clove of garlic, crushed it with the ax. And then it's been in there for, I don't know, maybe eight minutes, if that. They're super hot. They smell amazing. One of them, this prawns are one of my favorite foods ever. Mmm, buttery, garlicky, prawny goodness. Oh, that's so good. Dip it in that juice. Mmm. So good. This is one of my favorite parts of the prawn. I'll show you. Mm. So one of my favorite parts when it comes to eating prawns is the head. I think it's the most flavorsome. Twist it, pull the head off, and then give it a crush. Mm. That's the best part, full of flavor. I really love it. All right, so it's actually quite dark outside. So I think I'm gonna call it a day and I'll be back next week. If you are still watching, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, hit the red button, comment below, tell me what you wanna see me do here in the woods for that shelter, should I do the ladder? What sort of roof would you do? How would you do it differently if it was you? Comment away, please let me know. Don't forget, I do have those tools that I've been using, which is the auger, which is the Scotch-eyed auger, that is. It's the hand drill that makes the holes. And I've also got a few other tools on the website, bushcrafttools.com. Check out the previous episode and you'll see exactly what I have. Yeah, on that note, thanks again for watching. See you next week. Goodbye.